Hi, it's Dr. Christy Garner, and I wanted to just make a quick video for you to share with you some of the ways that I'm supporting myself during this Valentine's Day holiday and month. I find that my thoughts tend to kind of be a squirrel and especially when I'm anxious they can bounce from like thing to thing or when I go to bed at night I'll just start kind of obsessing and rehashing like what had happened in the day or what I'm nervous is going to happen for tomorrow like it just is going really fast and I find that if I can give my thoughts and my brain a job to do a focus it helps my whole body calm down. So I'm gonna share with you one of the things I do. I often do this before bed, and sometimes I also start my day uh, with this practice. And it's a variation of um, a meditation practice called loving kindness. And this was taught to me by my teacher, Sharon Salzberg. Sharon is the one who brought this teaching originally over from her time in India. Um, but instead of it being an outward focus, this is a variation she taught me that is about sending loving kindness to your body. It's a loving kindness body scan. And so what we do in this practice, it's really simple, is we're going to have well wishes. We're going to repeat phrases to each part of our body, just bringing loving kindness, loving awareness to different parts of our body. And it's like offering, um, Sharon describes it as like offering a birthday card or a well wish, like just offering this loving intention towards each part of our body. And what I'll preface this by saying is that there's no right or wrong way to do this. So this isn't like a serious practice or you have to like do something, um, you have to worry about not doing it right. It's really simple and really you can do it in the way that works for you. That's the honest answer. So I'll give you some phrases that I find helpful, but feel free to find phrases if you have others that you find are better suited for you, then just replace those with, with um, what you like. And so the hand position I use when I do loving kindness body scan is I lovingly tuck my thumb. So for those of you who've urge melted with me before, we did that course together. You know that I love step one is to gently tuck your thumbs into, this is called Adi Mudra. It's calming for the nervous system, but the other benefit is that you don't have to worry about doing your behaviors when your thumbs are tucked because we can't pull or pick when our thumbs are tucked. And so it just gives you that peace of mind that you can just rest easy knowing that as you do your loving kindness body scan, you don't have to worry about your behaviors. Your thumbs are lovingly tucked. You can rest your th your fists in your lap, face up or face down, it doesn't matter. Eyes open or closed, doesn't matter, whatever feels best to you. And the other thing you can do is this can be a one minute practice, or sometimes I'll do it as a 20 minute practice as I'm falling asleep. So I'm just gonna share a minute or so with you to give you an idea of the rhythm, and then you can do it at the speed that feels good to you. So I like to, I have my thumbs tucked into Adi Mudra and I start from the top and I work my way down. And so I'll start at the top of my head, I'll start with the brain. May my brain be happy, be healthy, be peaceful. May my mouth be happy, be healthy, be peaceful. May my neck be happy, be healthy, be peaceful. May my heart be happy, be healthy, be peaceful. May my stomach be happy, be healthy, be peaceful. May my hips be happy, be healthy, be peaceful. May my knees be happy, 
be healthy, be peaceful. And just in that short period of time, I can feel how much more I'm in my heart and not in my head. Um, I find that the thoughts in my head start to get quieter and I can feel more dropped into my heart. And that's really what this time is about. So in closing, I just want to let you know again that um, you're not alone. You know, I know that having these behaviors is challenging every time of year, but maybe even especially this time of year, um, it can feel painful when people that we care about don't understand us or we sometimes feel isolated or we, we hide with these behaviors. And so I just want to remind you that this community of us, we really understand, you know, we're your tribe and you're not alone. Um, we're all here together doing our best every day and we really care about you. Take care. <laughs>